The 2000s were a great time. We had Nacho Libre and uh All right, maybe the 2000s kind of sucked, but there was one undeniable fact and that's that the 2000s commercials slapped. That's what the kids are saying, right? Hi, Billy Mays here for the Big City Slider Station. So many memorable, catchy, or even cursed commercials have been burned into the heads of millennials. And today, we're gonna take a trip down memory lane and check out some of the most iconic 2000s commercials. Now this ranges from the year 2000 to the year 2010. That's a lot to cover. So this is part one of our 2000s journey. Oh, not tonight, sweetie. You've had Chef every night this week. But I love Chef. Oh, my heart. We're already starting off with a nice, wholesome commercial. This girl just wants some Chef Boyardee ravioli for dinner. I don't blame her, but her mom says no. All right, that's life. But God has a plan for you, child. Magic ravioli can. I don't know what it is about this commercial. Maybe it's the pure innocence of it. It's the nice music. It's the peaceful neighborhood scenery of this can just going along its merry way. What do you want for dinner? I don't know what her mom is gonna think. She's gonna say, Cheryl, did you just steal that can from the store? <laughs> That's not funny. Chef Boyardee. Boy, this stuff is good. Mmm! From the highest of highs, we are now hitting the lowest of lows. Axe Body Spray. These commercials were so manipulative and so stupid. Basically, it taught kids that if you hit yourself with Axe Body Spray, girls are just gonna throw themselves all over you. Uh, spoiler alert, it didn't work. It, if anything, it turned girls away because you smelt like an entire can of Axe body spray instead of taking a shower. Or I guess if you hit yourself with it, you smell like a Snickers bar. Uh, yeah, I'm sure that's what girls really like to smell. Oh, yes. Yeah, I was in the fourth grade when I first saw that commercial, and I didn't know what to feel. I didn't want that to happen to me. Berries and cream, berries and cream, all oh, the little lot of berries and cream. Starburst. Do you, do you want one now? A delightful new pan that lets you prepare a cake with all kinds of delicious fillings. Mm, now we are talking, baby! The cake bowl. When they're done, remove the insert, add your filling to the center cavity, and cover it with a base. In no time, you'll have the greatest cake you ever made. It was just a cake that you could fill with stuff. It was the jelly donut of cakes, but it looked so good. When you cut into the cake, and there's his favorite flavor of ice cream, or her favorite gelatin. And who wouldn't enjoy a cake filled with delicious fresh fruit? This was clearly a commercial for your mom who was having to watch Ed, Ed, and Eddie with you. I love cake. <laughs> they say a man should always dress for the job he wants. So why am I dressed up like a pirate in this restaurant? It's all because some hacker stole my identity. Now I'm in here every evening serving chowder and iced tea. Should have gone to freecreditreport.com. I could have seen this coming at me like an atom bomb. They monitor your credit and send you email alerts So you don't end up selling fish to tourists in t-shirts I didn't even know what a credit report was when this came out I was 12 years old, you think I know what a credit score is? To be fair, I'm now in my 20s and I still don't really know what it is But these songs were so catchy!
like, why? Why are they so good? They have no right being this good. This was also like the best anime of 2005 because every song was connected. You followed this guy's life where nothing was going right for him because of bad credit scoring. He was like a warning to kids being like, this is what you'll end up like if you have bad credit scoring. Well, I married my dream girl, I married my dream girl, but she didn't tell me her credit was bad. So now instead of living in a pleasant suburb, we're living in the basement at her mom and dad. No, we can't get a loan for a respectable home, just because my girl defaulted on some old credit card. If we'd gone to freecreditreport.com, I'd be a happy bachelor with a dog and a yard. It's stuck in my head. I know it more than the alphabet at this point. What comes after W? I don't know. But I know where you can go to check your credit score. Freecreditreport.com, baby. Do you like this top? So gay. Whoa! Hey, now! It's 2020. You can't be talking like that. Really? Yeah, it's totally gay. <laughs> this is just how people talked. Like, in middle school, I would get called gay all the time just for, you know, bringing my Game Boy to school. Oh, nice Game Boy. That's gay. You know, you really shouldn't say that. Say what? Well, say that something's gay when you mean it's bad. It's insulting. Mmm, Hillary Duff is here. That's right. The hero of the 2000s, Lizzie McGuire. What if every time something was bad, everybody said, Oh, that so girl wearing a skirt as a top. Bullying fights bullying. Is that what we're supposed to take away from this? When you say that's so gay, do you realize what you say? Knock it off. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. Then bump it up with Bump It and get that salon style look fast and easy. Oh no. Bump It's are the incredible self stripping hair accessory that give you perfect style and volume every time. Go from flat to fabulous instantly. This is a Karen accessory. So yeah, ladies, uh, specifically ones named Karen, if your hair was too flat, you just buy this bump it, and there you go. Now you have fluffy hair at the top, right? Look at that. And you can be a true Karen. Just look at the difference. Amazing. Go sexy, elegant, casual, sassy. We did this. We allowed this to happen. Someone looked at this Karen nonsense and said, yes, sell it. We need to produce more and more Karens. And fast forward to 2020, this will become the most popular product ever made. Geico. So easy, even a caveman can do it. I really like these commercials. They were funny, and it kinda... <laughs> I was gonna say it tackles race issues, like just stereotyping something. The cavemen are actually smart in this universe, but they're like, oh, the stereotype is that cavemen are stupid. But in these commercials, they're like, that's absolutely insensitive to say. And I don't think anything ever happened. You hate to see it. Huh? Mmm, Eggo Waffles. Now these commercials, for obvious reasons, have such a special place in my heart. <laughs> it's just a shame though, that every Eggo Waffle commercial was apparently some type of waffle murder. <laughs> Eggo Homestyle Waffles. I can't stand for this, I feel like I need to petition or something. This cannot keep happening! Code red. I'm being pursued. I'm procuring a getaway car. Pronto. Here we have Erin, the insurance girl. I need a car now. Sure, but you'll need insurance. She's smart. She's savvy. She's sexy. Maybe a little too sexy. No problem. I'm going to insurance. I can buy my policy online instantly. Now, what do I mean by that? What I mean is that this girl, Erin, the insurance girl was taken down and removed as the company's mascot because there were too much, too many? There was a lot of, uh, Rule 34. 
You've got to have insurance. So many inappropriate pictures. They were overwhelmed. Insurance was like, we don't want this to be what our company stands for. Which, if we're being honest, why not? What's squishy, stretchy, and transforms almost anything? Ah! Oh, now we're talking Floam. Floam was this weird toy that you were just literally supposed to cover things with. Turn this ordinary toy car into a plumbing fast dragster, or change this plain dollhouse into a plumbastic mansion. Seriously, I think the point of this toy was to cover household items in this flow material. I don't even know what it is. Is it Play-Doh? Is it sparkly Play-Doh? Seriously, you could cover your pens, you could cover your wallet, uh, what else? You could cover your Sonic Amiibo. Just anything around the house. Please, just cover in this floam. As a kid, I never got this toy because why the hell would any parents want that? Look, now you can turn anything into a fabulous floam creation. They come home after a long day of work and see everything. Kitchen utensils, the phone, chairs, the cat covered in floam. Just ask anyone who floams, from parents to tots. Floam, it's fun you can feel. And that was part one of our jump into the world of 2000s commercials that were iconic. Taking this trip, I can tell, is going to be full of joy and a lot of repressed memories. So I hope you can stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. And hey, if you need someone to talk to, go to freecreditreport.com.